Hello everyone, Ryfax here. Today I'm going to review the Hot Toys Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron Iron Man Mark 43. This is the MMS D09 uh, once a scale collectible figure. This is the uh, die cast version. Um, so yeah, uh, the D09 means this is die cast number nine. Uh, the only die, other die cast figure that I have is the the Robocop and as far as the other ones I have no idea. <laughs> I never really paid attention to their die cast line until pretty much the Robocop. I got the that Robocop there. But yeah. Um here's the front of the box, is the typical box that you that you got with uh Robocop before. It's nice like clear uh plastic over it. Then you have the back of the box with all the credits and warning choking hazard. And you have this side of the box. And let's show the top of the box. And the bottom, nothing. And it's a slip box uh top box. Slip it off like that, and your figure and everything will be in this foam little box. Now here are all the accessories that come with the figure. Uh, most of it's pretty much what you've seen before in other uh, Iron Man figures. First we'll start with the fisted hands that don't have the glowing repulsor in the middle. Pretty typical. Which I don't know why they keep doing that. I wish they would have it where it could glow. But anyways. And then you have your uh, articulated uh, finger um, hands that's articulated in each finger and as well as this thumb which is always pretty cool lovely awesome detail on these things and then here's something a little different but I believe this came with the Mark 42 as well because this is basically just a repaint of that and as well as in die casts but he has that um, mini rocket there this is a gauntlet that goes uh, around it and then you have his uh, his uh, gauntlets right here or his wrist guards it kind of has some battle damage to it which is pretty cool a lot of the figure is uh, pretty battle damaged I'm not sure why it doesn't ha say that this is battle damaged uh, on the actual figure and here's the Robert Downey Jr. Tony Stark head sculpt nice head sculpt it looks just like him Except they should have put a little bit of hair or something. Kind of looks like he's balding a little bit up there. But yeah, you could see that there's some da battle damaged areas on the helmet. All around it. And then you have uh, his faceplate. Awesome detail on that as well and it's magnetized so you could put it over his face oops there it goes but of course his eyes won't light up in, uh, in this head sculpt it'll be the one that's on the figure right now and another thing that's new is the Iron Legion um, damage the little figure here 
it's just really like a just a prop uh, to put uh, next to your figure just kind of having him like stepping on it or something uh, just after coming from battle and just destroying this thing <laughs> it has some articulation in it as well in the head as well as his arm go 360 really well and there's no uh, articulation in the wrist at all there's some there's a little bit of bend in the uh, elbow area but not much but it's beautifully uh, detailed Let's look at that yeah you can see all the inner workings in it as well as the back has just battle damage and wear all over it beautiful piece now we'll get to the uh, the stand now here's the stand it's a beautiful piece uh, they had this thing look really realistic on on the rubble and the dirt here uh, I'm really impressed on how they got this uh, looking especially if you see it in person it's quite incredible how they added this much uh, crazy detail to it looks really realistic on how they uh, did that and then of course at the right here on the plate it says Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron Mark 43 which is pretty typical of course you have your uh, copyright and all that stuff and the only thing I'm a little disappointed in is that uh, it doesn't have um, a bended uh, rod so you can't put this like on a real like awesome uh, flight pose uh, so yeah it's just it's just a straight rod you can't bend it at all so if you're expecting to uh, get a, a bending rod you can't use that neither because uh, if you take this off it's made specifically for this so you can't put even one of those bending rods from the the dynamic figure stand unfortunately so that's uh, one downside to it but yeah uh, most likely you're gonna have this on the ground so so he's kind of stepping on that uh, Iron Legion uh, figure and you know looking cool on the on the stand now here's the mark 43 armor this thing is absolutely beautiful I am loving this guy a lot uh, it feels really sturdy with that die cast it just feels like a really solid premium figure it even looks that way as well uh, you may not be able to see it on camera I'm not sure if I'll be able to capture what I'm feeling and seeing uh, in person but it, it's it's there uh, this is almost statuesque uh, in just terms of how solid and just how it looks it's quite beautiful <laughs> I'll just turn it around and let you intake what I'm kind of seeing here as well maybe you could see what I'm seeing but maybe not just an amazing amazing looking figure I'm very impressed with this guy and the lights uh, on the other Iron Man figures sometimes the lights were over empowering uh, sometimes you can't it would uh, shoot out so much that sometimes it would cause a lens flare on my camera and on this one it's just enough where uh, it's not really 
hurting your eyes, it's not causing a lens flare or anything like that. Uh, it's just right. I'm pretty uh, impressed with the lighting that they did on this. It's very, very nice. Um, now, the only thing is, this is about only half die cast. It's not a fully die cast figure. It's pretty much the same situation as the Robocop figure that I reviewed. Uh, it's pretty much his bicep is die cast. Uh, his legs, um, his thigh to his um, lower to his ankle is going to be die cast. But the rest of it is pretty much plastic. From his head, his chest, and then his his ab area. That's pretty much all. You could kind of hear it, maybe. Uh, that That is plastic all right there. That's the only unfortunate part to it. Now here's a closer view of the top half of the figure. You could tell there's a bunch of battle damage area on his helmet. I'll just do a quick 360 for you. Just to check out all this damaged all over his armor and they have uh, real nice uh, easy switches for you to turn on the lights as far as the body goes unfortunately they made it really tough for the head um, to switch on his lights so the way you do that is you have to take off his mask and it has a nice diffuser uh, to diffuse the light so it spreads out pretty much evenly but the thing is is that you have to take this part off in order to uh, flick the switch I had to pull this like spread it apart and then pull up and then in order to turn it off flick the switch and then turn it back on and if you want to put it back you got to do all that and make sure it's on correctly so there it goes I did that probably 20 times already so I'm kind of the master at it right now so for you maybe a little bit harder uh, once you uh, get your hands on this figure if you do so yeah let's move on down go about here and you can see the detail in the, the arms just looks absolutely incredible and then all the the battle damage area on the chest piece and the battle damage here that that's uh, die cast all there on his bicep as, as well as his tricep amazing detail on this guy very very impressed I'm loving every bit of it. it it is strange that they didn't call this a battle damage figure I know there's there's other uh, more battle damaged figures um, that are out out there for hot toys that are a lot more battle damaged like they're just you know like the what is it the DX 13 of where he's just completely tore up so I guess that this one just didn't come uh, just uh, just didn't meet uh, that part then we'll go down you can see you can see all the um, battle damage area areas blah blah <laughs> just loving all the all the detail on it and the sil silver is the, a real nice touch I really enjoyed that part of, on the mark 7 as well it wasn't like that but yeah, I just like that little touch as a silver Move down then you see all on his die cast legs 
all the battle damage areas and uh, on his iron butt as well really nice and we'll move down some more and some more detail on his knees He's not so battle damaged like around his knees. It's not that bad. And then now his lower completely lower half. See all the damage on his on his feet. Really nice. Just loving that detail. And that's pretty much it as far as uh, the detail of the figure goes. Now we're going to do some articulation. Do some neck and head articulation. You could turn all the way around and then as far as turning up he can go up too well uh, other Iron Man some other Iron Man figures he could go pretty much all the way up and do like a flight pose but for this one he's pretty much stuck looking almost straight unfortunately he has his held head kind of tilted nice tilt to it and then shoulder articulation uh, his shoulder pad kind of moves so it allows you to get uh, good articulation so that's about it for his shoulder there and go all the way down and then you could do a full 360 with his uh, shoulder there move down and then elbow articulation he does pretty well as far as elbow and then straight that's pretty much all you're gonna get and then well you kinda uh, stuck uh, with his wrist other than twisting it it's pretty much all you can do as far as his uh, wrist articulation goes then we'll do some ab there's n not really anything uh, there maybe the upper chest area here but not in the ab section and Another thing is that the there's a button back here, and once you press this button, uh, you could put him in like a like just a standing pose if you want to. Let's see if I could get it. Now if you want them in just a regular standing pose, keep uh, it kind of keeps his legs straight completely. See how straight that is? Now when you press the button, it unhinges this. So it gives you some more play with the legs. See like up here, this moves up so you could do some pretty awesome poses so push his leg up like that and if you wanted to you could probably you could um, put him in like that 
famous Iron Man pose of him uh, pretty much going down. Oops, well his hand came off, but kind of like this. Blech. See that? You can't do that with the with most other Iron Man figures. You can't get down that low. I'll probably have a picture of it at the end of the video on how far I was able to get it. But yeah, he can do really well in just the amount of poses uh, you could probably get him in. But yeah. And then now we'll do some knee articulation that is straight and then that's about as far as you're gonna get well actually we'll do some upper leg articulation I never really did that that's about as far as he's gonna go as far as his leg and then let's go all the way back and then that's about as far back as he's gonna go Looks like he's doing a real long jump. So that is awesome. He has a lot of, a lot of uh, good motion there. And then he has a swivel on his thigh. And then he has some, uh, some ankle pivot back and forward. And then he has some on his toe as well. Really nice. Now to attach Iron Man's mini uh, rocket, uh, his gauntlet here is pretty much uh, magnetized on that magnet there. And now you just take the, the rocket piece has a magnet as well and then they just they just kind of suck in together uh, it has a real powerful magnet it just kind of grabbed it from me and it looks really nice the mark 43 stands around 12 and a half inches tall that's without the base and with the base he stands around 14 inches tall. So at the end of this, I gotta say that this is one of the best uh, Iron Man figures that Hot Toys has produced. Uh, this that diecast feeling it it just brings a solid premium uh, figure out of this. It just you could just tell just by looking at it uh, in person as well as just feeling it that it just feels solid it's a really nice figure and having that uh, button on the back where you could uh, add have more motion and articulation in his legs that's uh, an awesome feature to have uh, they just pretty much perfected their Iron Man figures after how many I guess this is like 40 something so yeah um, well actually I don't I don't think they release a couple of them yet so it's maybe like maybe 30 something uh, Iron Man figures that they release so I guess uh, practice makes perfect so yeah um, they finally I guess they finally just got at perfection here uh, cause I don't know what to say as far as, you know, something like criticizing or, or bad about it. It's absolutely perfect. Uh, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, maybe they should have called it a die, uh, damage, battle damage, uh, figure. They probably should have called it that since there is some battle damage on it. It may not be as battle damaged as the others, but it, it should give some hint that it it does have some battle damage to it. So, uh, yeah, um, this is an amazing figure. 
I think you should pick it up if uh, if you're interested in it. And yes, this is a repaint of the Mark 42, and as well as it's in die cast. So uh, look out for that. Um, so it may turn off a couple people since it's really uh, a repaint at its core. Um, but of course, uh, Iron Man needs more red. So there's too much gold on the Mark, Mark 42. Uh, and this one, uh, they pretty much uh, evened it out to where, uh, to Iron Man's uh, more traditional uh, type color scheme. Uh, so yeah, uh, I would definitely choose this over the Mark 42 any day. Uh, I'm just, there's just too much gold on the Mark 42 for me. Uh, so this guy uh, definitely caught my eye a lot more. Um, but you know, some people are, may like the gold a little bit better since it, uh, it brings a little bit more uh, something different. Um, as far as the traditional Iron Man color scheme. And I know some of you are wondering that this costs uh, a bit more than uh, your normal uh, die cast figure. The Robocop costs around 300 and this one costs about around uh, almost 340 I believe for this figure. Um, to me, uh, considering you get uh, a lit up Iron Man, better articulation, you get a stand, and as well as that battle damage uh, Iron Legion, I guess it kind of it does ba balance out. Because if you look at the Robocop, it doesn't have a real nice stand like this one, and it doesn't come with something like the Iron uh, Legion as well. Um, so I guess it does kind of justify the uh, extra $40, or at least almost. Uh, but yeah, uh, so it's hard to really uh, criticize that about it. Yeah, I highly recommend that you pick it up if you are interested in it. So that is the end of my review. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching, and I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed that video, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You have 5 seconds to comply. 4, 3, 2, 1.